do this. What took you so long? Well, you need popsicle sticks. I'm gonna maybe hit the gym after this. So you just ate a bunch of popsicles by yourself? I had some help. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, I'm Landon. And today we're gonna teach you how to make the catapult basketball game. Here are the materials that will be needed for today's activity. Engineers use the design process to solve problems. For this challenge, the problem was to create something that could launch a ping pong ball into a hoop. Let's get started. For the catapult, take five sticks and stack them, securing one end with a rubber band. You'll need to wrap the rubber band around several times to make it nice and tight. Slide one more stick between the bottom stick and the rest of the stack. Secure the other end with a rubber band. Place the spoon on top and attach the end of the spoon to the end of the single stick with the last rubber band. Now the catapult is complete. For the hoop, take one pipe cleaner and form a ring that will form the hoop, twisting the ends together. Attach the pipe cleaner hoop with tape to the cardboard to make the backboard. Take a straw and attach it with tape to the back of the backboard to form the post of the basketball hoop. Take the remaining cardboard square and attach the bottom of the straw to the square with tape. And now the hoop is complete. Using the catapult, place the ping pong ball in the spoon. Save the hoop on the table some distance away, hold down the five sticks, press on the back end of the spoon, and let go. Did you know that as the basketball, or in this case ping pong ball, is traveling through the air, there are four forces acting upon it. Gravity is pulling it down, buoyancy is pushing it up, drag is impacting it as it goes through the air, and Magnus force is impacting it as it spins. So think about the weight of a ping pong ball and a basketball. Will it take more energy to launch the ping pong ball or the basketball through the air? Keep shooting, taking time to think about the forces that are acting on the ball. Adjust the location of the hoop and keep shooting until you're able to sink a few. All right, thanks for joining us today. Happy hooping.